Profloc test kits are enzyme-linked immunosorbent assays or ELISA test kits for the detection of antibodies or antigens for a multitude of avian pathogens. Profloc ELISA test kits are highly specific, sensitive, and simple to perform. Most test results can be obtained in approximately two hours. This video demonstrates the basic procedures for performing the following Profloc ELISA test kits. While the video provides a general overview of the procedure for performing these tests, be aware that there are slight variations in procedures and interpretations across the multiple Profloc ELISA test kits. For details on each test, please read the directional insert that accompanies each test kit and follow the detailed description of the protocol in agreement with good laboratory practices. The following items are packaged in each Profloc ELISA test kit. The specific quantities listed below are sufficient to run 90 tests or one 96 well plate. Again, be sure to refer to the directional insert that accompanies each test kit for exact content details. One antigen coated plate. 10 microliters positive control serum. 10 microliters normal control serum. 100 microliters goat anti chicken IgG peroxidase conjugate solution. 40 milliliters dilution buffer. 10 milliliters ABTS hydrogen peroxide substrate solution. 2.5 milliliters 5X stop solution. 20 milliliters 20X wash solution. For ALV plus, one antibody coated plate, 300 microliters positive control, 300 microliters negative control serum, 200 microliters rabbit anti P27 peroxidase conjugate solution, 10 milliliters dilution buffer, 10 milliliters ABTS hydrogen peroxide substrate solution, 2.5 milliliters 5X stop solution, 20 milliliters 20X wash solution, and one directional insert. Be sure to examine the test kit contents before testing begins. The following is a list of equipment and required materials for performing Profloc ELISA tests. Be sure to consult individual product directional inserts for specific equipment and required material details. One single channel 2 to 20 microliter pipette. One single channel 20 to 200 microliter pipette. One single channel pipette 200 to 1000 microliters. 8 or 12 channel 50 to 300 microliter pipette. Another 8 or 12 channel 5 to 50 microliter pipette is helpful but not necessary. Micro pipette tips compatible with each pipette. Assorted disposable serological pipettes, 1, 10, and 25 milliliter. 2, 10 to 1,000 milliliter graduated cylinders. 1 milliliter or 5 milliliter clean test tubes. Uncoated low binding 96 well plate. Laboratory grade distilled or reverse osmosis water. 96 well plate reading spectrophotometer with 405 to 410 nanometer filter. Plate washing apparatus. Waste container with bleach or other oxidizing agent. 50 milliliter disposable reagent reservoirs. Two laboratory timers. Dilute serum using dilution buffer in a clean, uncoated 96 well micro titer plate. Frozen serum samples should be completely thawed, warmed to room temperature, and thoroughly mixed before diluting. Set up samples and controls as shown here. Add 300 microliters of dilution buffer to each well of an uncoated 96 well micro titer plate. This plate is also referred to as the serum dilution plate. Next, add 6 microliters of unknown serum per well as per figure 1 in your directional insert producing a 1 to 50 dilution. 
Start with well A4 and end with well H9, moving left to right, row by row of the wells. For example, wells 1 through 30 contain the diluted sera of flock 1. Wells 31 through 60 contain diluted sera of flock 2, etc. And as always, refer to the individual directional inserts for more detail. Now, add 6 microliters of normal control serum, producing a 1 to 50 dilution, to wells A2, H10, and H12. Aspirate and remove any liquid in dilution plate wells A1, A3, and H11. Allow all diluted serum to equilibrate in dilution buffer for 5 minutes before transferring to an antigen-coated ELISA plate. Diluted serum should be tested within 24 hours. This diluted format provides adequate quantities of diluted serum samples to conduct four additional ELISA tests using the same serum dilution plate. When preparing ProFlock ELISA positive control and solutions, please refer to the individual directional inserts accompanying each test kit for more detailed instructions. A positive control serum has been provided with each kit. Dilute the appropriate volume of positive control serum with dilution buffer, 1 to 50, in a clean test tube. For example, dilute 6 microliters of positive control serum in 300 microliters of dilution buffer. Mix well. 150 microliters of positive control is needed per ELISA plate. Special considerations for ALV+. Serum or egg albumin samples may be added directly to the antibody-coated plate without dilution. An ALV positive and negative control have been provided with the kit in ready-to-use form. Allow the ALV positive and negative control samples to equilibrate to room temperature before use. These are general instructions for performing ProFlock ELISA tests. There are slight variations in procedures and interpretation across the different test kits. For details on each test, please read the directional insert that accompanies each test kit and follow the detailed description of each protocol in agreement with good laboratory practices. Remove the test plate from the protective bag and label according to dilution plate identification. Add 50 microliters of dilution buffer to all wells on the test plate. Add 50 microliters of diluted positive control serum to wells A1, A3, and H11. Discard the pipette tip. Using an 8 or 12 channel pipette, Transfer 50 microliters per well of each of the diluted serum samples and normal control serum samples from the dilution plate to the corresponding wells of the coated test plate. This yields a 1 to 100 dilution. Discard the pipette tips after each row of sample is transferred. The transfer of samples to the ELISA plate should be done as quickly as possible. Incubate for 30 minutes at room temperature. The peroxidase-labeled conjugate is supplied as a stabilized concentrate. Dilute 100 microliter stock conjugate in 10 milliliter dilution buffer to create a 1 to 100 dilution. Mix well. This 10 milliliter preparation will supply sufficient conjugate for one 96 well ELISA plate. For ALV+, the horseradish peroxidase conjugated rabbit anti-P27 antibody is supplied in HRP stabilizer. Dilute 200 microliter stock conjugate in 10 milliliter dilution buffer, 1 to 50 dilution. Mix well. This 10 milliliter preparation will supply sufficient conjugate for one 96 well ELISA plate. Dilute 20 milliliters of concentrated wash solution in 380 milliliters of laboratory grade distilled or reverse osmosis water for a 1 to 20 dilution. Mix well. Approximately 400 milliliters of wash solution is needed for each 96 well ELISA plate. The substrate solution is ready to use. Each plate will require approximately 10 milliliters of substrate solution. For best results, the substrate solution must be equilibrated to room temperature before use. Dilute 2.5 milliliters concentrated stop solution in 10 milliliters of laboratory grade distilled or reverse osmosis water for a 1 to 5 dilution. Mix well. Approximately 12.5 milliliters of stop solution is needed for each 96 well ELISA plate. Please note, storage of 5X stop solution at refrigerated temperatures may cause the formation of a white solid. 
This does not affect product performance. Warm to room temperature or 37 degrees Celsius to dissolve before use. Tap out liquid from each well into an appropriate vessel containing bleach or other decontamination agent. Using an 8 or 12 channel pipette or comparable automatic washing device, fill each well with approximately 300 microliters of wash solution. Allow the solution to soak in the wells for 3 minutes. Then discard the contents into an appropriate waste container. The waste container should contain a bleach solution. Tap the inverted plate to ensure that all residual liquid is removed. Repeat the wash procedure two more times. The wash procedure is a very critical step in any ELISA procedure. Please follow these steps as directed. Using an 8 or 12 channel pipette or transplating device, dispense 100 microliters diluted conjugate into each assay well. Discard the pipette tips. Incubate for 30 minutes at room temperature. Repeat the wash procedure as described a moment ago. Next, using an 8 or 12 channel pipette or transplating device, add 100 microliters of diluted substrate solution to each test well. Discard the pipette tips. Incubate for 15 minutes at room temperature, 21 to 24 degrees Celsius or 70 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Using an 8 or 12 channel pipette or other transplating device, add 100 microliters of diluted stop solution to each test well. Allow the bubbles to dissipate before reading the plate. Read the plate using an ELISA plate reader set at 405 to 410 nanometers. Be sure to prepare the reader as directed. Calculate the results by following the instructions in the individual directional insert found in the Processing Data and Results sections. Here are a few precautions to be aware of before using ProFlock ELISA test kits. Be sure to follow the specific directional insert which accompanies each test kit for more precise instructions. Handle all reagents and samples as biohazardous material. Keep all reagents away from skin and eyes. If exposure should occur, immediately flush affected areas with cold water. Field samples, as well as wash solution, control sera, test plates, and all other test kit reagents should be properly decontaminated with bleach or other strong oxidizing agent before disposal. Take special care not to contaminate any of the test reagents with serum or bacterial agents. Humidity indicators are supplied with each plate. If any of the indicators exhibit a pink color, the plate may be compromised in some way. Decontaminate, i.e., wash the plate with bleach solution, and dispose of the plate. Contact your Zoetis customer support to report the product experience. The best results are achieved by following the protocols as they are described in the directional insert accompanying each test. Be sure to always use good, safe laboratory techniques. Do not use the kits after the expiration date. Never pipette by mouth. Allow all reagents to come to room temperature, 21 to 24 degrees Celsius or 70 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit before starting each test. Remember, this video provides a general overview of the elements of the procedure for performing ProFlock ELISA tests, but there are slight variations in procedures and interpretation across the different test kits. For details on each test, please read the directional insert that accompanies each test kit and follow the detailed description of each protocol in agreement with good laboratory practices. For assistance, please contact Zoetis at 1-888-ZOETIS-1 or 1-888-963-8471.